In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to pair your iPhone to your Pioneer Next in-dash receiver. Even though your particular in-dash receiver may have buttons on the side, or across the bottom like this one, the on-screen operation in this demonstration is identical for the following Pioneer Next models. AVH1300 Next. AVH1330 Next. MVH2300 Next. AVH2300 Next. AVH2330 Next. AVH3300 Next. Before we connect your in-dash receiver to your iPhone, let's check one setting on the in-dash receiver to make sure we're all set up and ready to go. So I'm going to touch the gears up here, and I want to go to the Bluetooth settings, but look, the Bluetooth settings are grayed out. So I want to engage the parking brake. When I engage the parking brake, I can get to my Bluetooth settings, and I'm going to check the visibility. Right here is visibility. We can switch the visibility on or off right here. And the visibility means that through Bluetooth, the in-dash receiver will be visible to other devices. So if you are searching from your phone and you can't find the in-dash receiver, make sure that this visibility is switched on. That's switched on, so we're good. Now, I'm going to take the parking brake off because I don't need the parking brake for this operation. And I'm going to touch my settings here. And we're going to go to Bluetooth. We're going to make sure that Bluetooth is switched on. And when we switch it on, we'll automatically search for devices. This is the device we're looking for. Find your uh, in-dash receiver on the list here. And we'll touch that one. So that'll generate a pairing request. And here's a number 267446. And that's the same number over here. Once we confirm that they're the same number, we can say pair on the phone and yes here on the in-dash receiver. And the two devices will be paired. Now the other way that I can pair my phone to the in-dash receiver is to start on the in-dash receiver and search for other devices. So the way we do that is we start from the Bluetooth menu, and so we'll touch the Bluetooth telephone here, and we want to touch the gears, but you can see that the gears are grayed out. So we need to fix that, and we'll hit the X here. Let's uh, touch the gears, and we'll go down to the Bluetooth menu, but look, Bluetooth is grayed out, so what I need to do to fix that is engage the parking brake. Once I engage the parking brake, the Bluetooth settings become available. We'll choose Bluetooth there, and here is my connection menu. That's the one I want. We'll touch connection, and I'm going to uh, touch the magnifying glass button to search for devices. Now, make sure that you go to the settings on your phone and open the Bluetooth screen. When you open the Bluetooth screen, the phone now becomes available and visible to other devices. And here you can see we found the iPhone, so I'm going to select that on the screen. That'll automatically generate a pairing re request, and that is 699731. That's the same number over here. So we'll say pair on the phone, and yes, here on the in-dash receiver, and the two devices will be paired. If I want to see the devices that are paired to my in-dash receiver, just touch this button right here. And this shows me that I have an Android phone and an iPhone connected at the same time. 